Hello, and welcome back to another Collection DX review with your host, me, Josh B. So today we're going to be looking at the uh, 3A uh, World War Robot Portable Armstrong, the Toy Tokyo 10th Anniversary Limited Edition. So, before I get into this a little bit, um, I want a few backstory here. So, this is designed by Ashley Wood from the World War Robot series. But this is World War Robot Portable. Portable. Meaning that it's a half size toy. So normally these are like 1 6 scale, I think. This one is 1 12 scale. Okay. Next thing to know is that this is made uh, a color, ver color version specifically for Toy Tokyo, a uh, toy store in New York City. Fantastic store. And third thing I want you to know that this was. Uh, came from the collection of uh, my buddy Kirkland Jew of uh, Toybot Studios. So, um, go visit Toybot Studios for a lot more of this type of stuff. Um, he covers more of these artist uh, exclusive type things than, than I do. But, I got turned on to this from uh, my buddy Ben, uh, who known as Prometheum5 on the website, and I have to say that I think they are astounding toys. So, the package is pretty nondescript, but the toy itself is awesome. And it appears that I have to zoom out a little bit to get him all in the frame. There you go. So, this is Armstrong. He is uh, made out of vinyl. Uh, he's uh, painted in a very rusty metallic color scheme. Whoop, he's a little back heavy. But, you know, he is a designer toy. He's not so much made for play as he is for display. You can see the uh, word toy right on front, the TT on the shoulder, and the 10. That's all indicative of the uh, Toy Tokyo version, okay? And on the back, you can see the, the Toy Tokyo logo etched in. So, these pieces are astounding and while this is a limited version it's it has all the hallmarks of any regular uh, 3a release and if I can just get into the uh, detail and vine the the paint if you aren't watching this in high quality you really should just to see how insane that's painted vinyl painted weathered textured detailed vinyl that is insane. Okay. Look at that. Look at the hands. Each finger independently jointed. I mean, each, each joint in each finger. Okay. So, you can, you know, really do a lot with them. And they're not particularly fragile either. They're just well-engineered well-designed fingers okay articulation is not bad the head does rotate a little bit okay the shoulders are ball joints you can pop them out pretty easily if you wanted to um, you got an elbow swivel swivel uh, and the, down here you have a ball joint ball joint bendy knee Okay. The back plaque uh, is actually comes uh, as a separate piece, and you can attach it. I'm just going to leave it on for the sake of argument. This also has a little bit of motion. It's a little extra detail. Okay, my uh, my brother Adam was over here, and he saw this, and he made it do the metal horns, which I think is quite appropriate for this guy, don't you think? Very metal, very metal. All right, so that's that. He also comes with a weapon, which is a uh, big bazooka-looking thing, also nicely detailed. And he just grabs this with his fully articulated hand, like so. And there you go. Okay. Pretty awesome. I I'm really impressed with this. Now, imagine one twice this size. I mean, here's a Wraith Faden for, for scale. So, he's maybe nine inches tall. 
So that would make the full size one 18 inches, which is kind of crazy. But also the price is a lot higher. It's closer to uh, 150 bucks. Maybe, you know, I'm not entirely sure. Don't quote me on that. I know this guy, like retail was like 65 bucks, I think. Um, so I'm not entirely sure because it was kind of a limited special thing. I think maybe you got it at the Comic Con or something. But I really dig it. I really like the look and feel of this whole unit. I could see myself totally getting uh, a lot of these if they weren't so damned hard to get. New pieces uh, in this line, uh, you basically, the way to ensure you get one is to kind of be part of their club or something. You gotta get on like a mailing list, you gotta pay in advance, six months later, things might ship to you. Big pain in the butt. You could of course always get them on the secondary market um, and pay through the nose. There are some that are just massive with the just big blocks with bazookas that are like, you know, two and a half feet long. Really insane toy line. So this is a good like entry gateway piece to the Ashley Wood 3A kind of uh, style of doing things. I can see myself getting more of these, but I may stick with the portable size just for the sake of where the hell would I put, you know, a 20 inch tall robot with a two and a half foot long bazooka. I've seen it in person. It's awesome. But goddamn, you got to have the space for something like this. So this is Armstrong. This is by 3A Toys. This is the Toy Tokyo uh, 10th anniversary edition. Uh, this came from the collection of Kirkland Jew of Toybot Studios, who, yes, I owe you an SOC for this bad boy, and it is coming, so don't you worry about it. I haven't forgotten you, my man. And, um, yeah, it's a great piece, and if you guys haven't uh, checked this stuff out before, look under uh, Collection DX, look for under, stuff under 3A. You can see a bunch of different ones that we've reviewed. They're all super impressive, really nice pieces. So, it's Josh from Collection DX. See you next time.